What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs. Today we're going to take a look at a state that I get the most profanity from, New Jersey. New Jersey is a special type of place where people apparently think it's okay to do things like offer to knock my teeth out if I ever visit. What's funny is this is sort of a theme with these people. I've had this exact threat like word for word a handful of times. It makes me feel like all warm and fuzzy about New Jersey when they say things like that. Today we're going to talk about Trenton, New Jersey, the type of place that doesn't have the type of people that would make threats like that. Trenton is filled to the rim with good people that welcome all forms of critique and try and grow from it. I'm just kidding. Trenton's a freaking nightmare. And that's why I'm making this list. Trenton, New Jersey is the capital of New Jersey, and it's right here in case you don't know like most people. And it has about 85,000 residents. Oddly enough, that's pretty much the same amount of people they had back in the 2010 census. Not a lot of growth going on in the capital city. That is Trenton's nickname, the capital city. It also carries the nickname, the turning point of the revolution. That's because a major battle here happened, obviously, during the Revolutionary War. It's the location of General George Washington's first victory. So it's not all bad. Trenton is a city where people really aren't doing a lot of moving to compared to other places along the East Coast. But hey, that doesn't mean you don't think about it. Maybe you got hit in the head with a foul ball at a Yankee game and you're considering it right now. If you are, you should watch my top 10 reasons not to move to Trenton, New Jersey. Number 10, property values. Any city with high crimes, bad schools, and other negative stats is going to have some low home prices. Guess what? Trenton has some really, really low home prices. Trenton takes it to a whole new level. The median home price is about $94,000. $94, this is about 4.6% lower than the national average of about $226,000. That's kind of low. To top things off, only about 35% of the residents own their home, which indicates that these aren't the most stable residents that, you know, a city needs to survive. They have a lot of renters and that's normally a stat. No, no city really wants to see that, honestly. Number nine, traffic. For a place that hasn't really added many people, the traffic in Trenton sucks, and it actually defies all logic because it's actually getting worse without adding residents. Traffic is everywhere in the city of Trenton. This may be because it's the state capital or because it's one of the largest cities in New Jersey, or maybe both. Either way, it's good to know that the traffic can be absolutely awful. So plan ahead for trips or just for your daily commute, whatever. Just know that the start of every workday, it's probably gonna put you in a bad mood because of traffic. The average resident spends about 25 minutes on their commute each day. Number eight, tourism. Trenton is a very historical city. This means there's a bunch of field trips every single year and tons of people come to visit. In New Jersey, over $42 billion was earned through the tourism industry last year alone. If you hate tourists and rental cars, maybe living in the suburb of Trenton is a better solution for you. Tourists never go to the suburbs. If they end up in the suburbs, they've made a horrible mistake and don't know how to work their land nav system. So get them back on the right track, send them back to Trenton. Everything will be good. Like I said, the Battle of Trenton was the turning point for this country. History buffs know this and they come to see this stuff. Just to give you a background on it, the Battle of Trenton took place during the Revolutionary War in 1776. The battle was won by the Americans following losses in like Massachusetts, Quebec, and New York. They've been getting their asses handed to them for a while now. Why is this a big deal? The U.S. was not a professional army. The British were. So they were up against incredible odds. The fact that they ever got a win is amazing in itself. I was watching a History Channel show one time and a historian was saying, you know, talking about Washington, what a great general he was, and he said what Washington did was like take a high school football team and win against last year's Super Bowl winner. That's how great of a win this was. You may want to brush up on your history before you move here, just so you don't look like an idiot. You know, because that's what this city's kind of all about in a way. Number seven, the population decline. Trenton has seen a population decline ever since Eisenhower was in the Oval Office, okay? The population peaked in 1952 with 128,000 residents. When a city's been losing people year over year for that long, it's a good indicator that a lot of people haven't been doing their job. Like, pretty much all of them haven't been doing their job. Today, the population is as low as it was between 1900 and 1910 census. However, as of the 2017 census, the population increased by 0.1%. So, maybe this can turn the whole city thing around. I doubt it but it's a glimmer of hope. Number six, not for families. 
As of February of last year, 2018, WalletHub.com ranked Trenton as one of the worst cities in the country for families. The website determines this by evaluating economic strength, affordability, and overall quality of life. Education and living standards also are equated in there. All of these areas that are important to families seem to rank bottom of the barrel for Trenton. Also, considering the city has the lowest number of adults that obtain a four-year degree or higher, just this may not be the best place to raise family. It may not be. This is not a place you want to raise a family. Unless, of course, you don't like them, then by all means, it's a solid choice. Number five, air quality. When it comes to clean air, Trenton residents don't seem to know anything about that. Trenton is located in Mercer County, which is the third worst county for air quality in the state. The county has an F grade for air quality. If you do choose to live here or visit, be sure to check the air quality in your specific area and consult your doctor with any concerns you may have. If you have asthma or any other kind of lung issues, maybe Trenton shouldn't be your first choice for relocating. Like I said, talk to your doctor and then see if you could track down one of those World War II gas masks for your commute. Number four, public schools. Public schools in the area are awful. Don't send your kids here. That's the best piece of advice I can give you. The average review on glass doors is 2.5 stars with complaints from teachers themselves complaining about how poorly the district is run. Some of the facts are alarming. Like in 2016, about 33% of the students were marked for missing too much school throughout the school year. Then as of 2018, the number increased to about 48% of the students in Trenton Central High School were marked for being absent too often. This could lead to low test scores and ultimately low graduation rates, making school ratings go even lower. This has given the city even a worse look. At least not many of the parents or students will ever have to worry about student loans in their future, so that's good. It's actually too bad. I hate seeing it when schools are in bad shape like that. Number three, poverty. The unemployment rate as of April of 2019 this year was about 3.4%. That's only slightly lower than the national average. While this of course is great news, lower is better, the rub is it may be because the residents are taking mostly entry level jobs. The income per capita in Trenton is just about $17,000 a year and the poverty level is about 83% higher than the national average. The median household income in Trenton is 38% lower than the national average. They're not making a bunch of money. They may have jobs, but they're not paying well. I mean, it is good to have a job, and the low unemployment numbers always look good, but sometimes they can be misleading, like in Trenton. Number two, the prison. Located just within the city of Trenton is the New Jersey State Prison, formerly known as the Trenton State Prison. This is the oldest prison in the state of New Jersey and in the country that is still open and has been since 1798. This is a men's maximum security prison. While that should give people peace of mind with the level of security, this also means that it holds some pretty dangerous inmates and some serious scumbags. These include Charles Cullen, the state's most prolific serial killer, John List, AKA the Boogeyman of Westfield, and Ahmad. Ramani, a suspect in the 2016 New York and New Jersey bombings. Hope I pronounced his name right. Actually, I don't care if I pronounce his name right. The area around prisons is normally very safe. Prisons do a good job of keeping dirt bags inside the prison walls. The thing is, the prison's right down the street. Nobody likes that. I mean, unless you're a guard and you don't want a long commute. I mean, it's ideal. But I mean, a prison really brings down a neighborhood. No matter how long it's been there, how historic it is, it's a prison and it's right there. It sucks. And number one, crime. Trenton is a horrible place when it comes to safety. The city has a violent crime rate that is 462% higher than the state average. That's violent crimes. The overall crime rate in Trenton is 42% higher than the national average. The good news is it's getting better. They've seen a slight, and I do mean slight, decrease in the crime rate over the last five years. Trenton is a great place if you've ever wanted to experience like an old school mugging firsthand. If that's what you're into, maybe wear a GoPro and post it someplace. It might go viral. I do suggest life or medical insurance before you give that a whirl though. Make sure you get a few quotes because life insurance is kind of sketchy and so is medical insurance. Car insurance kind of sketchy, but make sure you get a couple quotes and then go out and give it a go. Just kidding. Do not do that. All in all, the crime rate in Trenton is horrible, especially for a capital city.
All right, so that's my top 10 reasons not to move to Trenton, New Jersey. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Trenton is, it's its not a good place. You know, I'd like to say it is, but it's not. I mean, it's a capital city and you always want those cities to be really, really good. It's just not, no getting around it. Don't forget all the links below. Leave me a comment, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you already haven't. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.